Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to replace the tube on the inside of a tire. So first you wanna come in and put a screwdriver on the valve stem and make sure all the air is out that you can get out. And next we're gonna get a screwdriver. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna put it on the outer lip like this. Now we're gonna run that screwdriver all the way around the rim, and that's removing uh, one side of the tire to go onto the outside of the rim. So as you do that, uh, you'll be able to easily then work the rest of the whole tire off. So you just pull it down after that, usually both sides. And you can run the screwdriver on the inner side if you need to, but it should come out and just pull it out on the valve stem and then remove the old tube. So once you pull the old tube out, we're just gonna bring in the new tube and we're gonna put it uh, right back onto the actual rim. So what you'll wanna do is uh, find where that valve stem goes back through the rim and you have to uh, remove the cap first, of course. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then when we put it up through here, we're gonna put the cap back on to help hold it in place. So now what we're gonna do is take the new tube and we're just gonna lightly put it around the wheel. And you'll see we don't even have to take the wheel off of the stroller or anything for this. But uh, there's gonna be a little bit of slack left, so just go ahead and bunch it up the best you can. And next what we're gonna do is take the new tire and we're gonna set the rim and tube inside of it. And so once it's in, try to work it around with your two fingers like this to get that tube and the tire to seat together at the same time. And uh, ultimately it'll be a little tight in one end. So we're gonna take our screwdriver and uh, just the opposite of removing it, we're gonna go around the rim like this to put the uh, tire back onto the rim. So be very careful not to puncture the new tube, of course. And uh, if it's a bigger wheel and it's a little harder, you can use two screwdrivers to help hold this in place. And, uh, but uh, you just work your way all the way around the rim and uh, it should seat pretty well. Uh, after that, all we have to do is fill it full of air. So just take it over to your pump or air compressor, whatever you have, and uh, fill it up. Uh, as you fill it up, make sure that it's filling evenly. It hasn't bunched anywhere, it's not bulging. And uh, if everything looks good, then you're done. Just put the valve stem cap back on and that's all there is to it. So thanks for watching, and uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like it, and feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.